Six months ago, I reworked the Ender Dragon, and my main goal was to make the Ender Dragon fight as hard as possible. But for some people, like excluding me, it, it was not even challenging for them. So here we are now, reworking the Ender Dragon again to make it as hard as possible. And trust me, I have a good reason for taking six months. It's because of something that starts with S, ends with L, and has two O's in it. Anyways, before I forget, E Dragon fights won't be as scuffed as the previous version. Well, at, at least I hope so. First of all, I would like to mention that this plugin is quite customizable. In a separate video, we will take a full look into using the config.yml file. Otherwise, this video will literally be over half an hour. Before we dive into the features, if you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and it will help me out a lot. Thank you so much, and let's get straight into the features then. In this reworked version, there are 5 different dragon types that can spawn, and they are the Energy Dragon, Fire Dragon, Water Dragon, Air Dragon, and Earth Dragon. You will be able to customize the health, name, how frequently the dragon will go to the portal, and whether or not that dragon type will spawn. Also, a quick note to speedrunners, the damage bit explosions will deal to dragons is alterable, so yeah, have fun speedrunning! When a dragon spawns, it will say something inspirational. Same goes for when it dies. Each dragon will say something every now and then as well, depending on how many seconds between each talk is said. This can be either encouraging you or smack talking and roasting you. However, you will be able to change those lines either to something more encouraging or continue to roast the players. And anyways, moving on to one of the most integral parts of the plugin, and that is the attacks. Now, there are 14 total attacks excluding the dragon's breast, and you can toggle those attacks on or off for each dragon type as well as how frequently the attacks occur. I would also like to point out that anything related to damage or the duration of the attack is customizable. Attacks will only happen to players within 100 blocks of the dragon, which is still a lot, but at least people AFKing at Enderman farms won't come back to their keyboard just to realize there are a million ender guards in front of them. And also players in creative mode or spectator mode will not be attacked, so the admins will get to spectate the players freely without having their cover blown by the attacks. We'll also be going through the general attacks or the attacks that literally every dragon type has first, and then we will move on with the dragon type specific attacks later. So the ender guard attack, I'm pretty sure many of you remember this creature from the first time I reworked the ender dragon. Although the Ender Guard looks really funny, you know, with the humongous hits sticking out of nowhere, it serves as a pretty good distraction. You will be able to customize the health of the Ender Guard as well. And also, fun fact, I noticed quite a lot of you cheeky players out there tend to stand on top of a tower and knock them off whenever they spawn. However, most unfortunately, the Ender Guard will now teleport to you whenever you are too far away. But that feature can be toggled on or off. So you could probably persuade the server owners to, 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 you know, turn the feature off. Next up, we have the Enderman attack. This will anger the Enderman near you. Responding to a dragon's call, these Endermen will attack you. However, if there is no Enderman within a certain range of where you are standing, the dragon will say something really special and we can all type an L in the chat. Next up, we have the bow inaccuracy attack. This will make your bow shots well inaccurate. Good luck shooting with that. Next up, oh okay ser seriously I, I need to find a better phrase instead of next up. Anyways, next up we have the ender spirit attack. This will summon ghosts. Well, Texas look the closest to ghosts so yeah. You will also be able to customize the number of spirits spawning as well as the health of the spirits. Well, good luck having fun dealing with the revenge of the spirits of the many endermen that were killed. Now moving on to the attacks unique to each dragon type, but take note that you will be able to enable these attacks for other dragon types as well. To start off, we have the energy dragon attacks. Thor has once again made his way into this plugin. The lightning attack is another attack brought in from the previous version. But just that this time you can make it so that the lightning attack can one-shot people even in the strongest set of armor. Well, that, that sounded really weird. The Sonic Wave attack is a new attack and one of my personal favorites. A wave will spawn and damage will be dealt. Also, some cool particles will be spawned. But don't worry, it isn't enough to crash your computer. 
Now we shall take a look at the air dragon attacks and when I was writing the script for this video I just realized wow this dragon is weak. As its name suggests, the potion attack will give the players blindness, weakness, nausea and slowness for the set duration. When paired with the bow inaccuracy attack, this attack is really a pain. The fling attack is another attack from the previous version which basically flings you high into the air. However, I noticed some cheeky players again that obtain the elytra just glide down to the ground. Well, I would like to introduce a small quality of life change that will disable the elytra during the fling attack, but that feature can be toggled on or off as well. So yeah. The Earth Dragon, yeah. First up is the explosion attack all over again, just that this time it's more aesthetically pleasing. Well, the Ender Dragon has seeked training outside of the world of Minecraft and blundered its way into the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So the boulder attack, much similar to Master Koga's attack from Breath of the Wild, will summon boulders that will fly to you at the speed of light. Ouch, that, 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 that must really hurt. Moving to the Fire Dragon, I hope things get more fire from here. That was such a bad pun. The fire attack sets the player on fire, so a little um, pro tip here, bring a water bucket, otherwise things will get really fire. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm seriously bad at making puns, or if that even is a pun to start with. Lava attacks, or maybe we should call it the fire fountain attack, will summon a powerful lava fountain beneath you and shoot you up into the air, making the use for a water bucket if Okay, I can't think of a suitable adjective. I think we can all agree that the water dragon is the most annoying dragon, but not as useless as the air dragon. We we'll see why in a second. The flood attack will flood your character with water and you will not be able to move. So hopefully you don't get stuck in this situation when the dragon fires a dragon breath fireball. The freeze attack is very similar to the flood attack. But this time, the water has been frozen into solid ice cubes. However, it still freezes you on the spot. And a quick tip for boosting of performance, it will be better to enable flying in the server properties so that some players won't get kicked for flying if the freeze attack is used when they are in mid-air. We will also notice whenever the dragon does an attack on you, the dragon will say something as well as a line containing some information about the attack damage or duration. Well, these lines can be disabled as well, just needed to, to put that there. Anyways, back to the features. In the previous version of the plugin, we had this small little feature that the dragon will randomly freeze when you hit it, but that just looked really cursed with the dragon shaking in the air like that. So I kind of removed that feature, but don't worry, it has been replaced with power-ups. There are five different power-ups added, and we will be going through each of them. Each power-up can be customized based on how long it will last, how effective the power-up will be, and you can disable certain power-ups as well. The attack shield power-up will make the player invulnerable to the dragon attacks, so hopefully this power-up will save you the distraction of the ender guard and the ender spirits. The armor resistance power-up will reduce the damage you take from anything, but it just might not be enough to save you from the fall damage of the fling attack, so don't even try to pull off that stunt. The projectile power power-up will increase the damage dealt from projectiles like arrows. So a quick tip, aiming practices on a regular basis is encouraged. As its name suggests, the melee strength power-up increases damage dealt by melee weapons. And it is really effective in getting rid of the endermen, or as I would normally call them when fighting the dragon pests. Homing arrows sound great, but a great amount of skill is required to use them. Although the arrows follow the dragon closely, they can't go through walls. When paired with the projectile power power-up, it forms the super best ultra excellent... Okay, just insert a random good adjective here. I have run out of good adjectives. So those are the features for the Evo Dragons plugin, and that's it for today's video, I guess. If you do run into any problems or bugs with the plugin, feel free to join the Discord link down below in the description and list your problem or bug there, and I'll try my best to help you. And once the video for the config.yml is released, it'll be either in the cart right at the top right hand corner or in the end screen. And 
If you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you do have any suggestions for future videos or plugins, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And with that all said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you when I see you in the next video. Bye!